we're now going to learn how to produce um, a climatology for the grid that we're working on. And this climatology file it can be used uh, to force, um, can be used, you know, to, as an input file for for ROMs. Uh, I'm going to go in the ROMs-nc files, and also it could be used later to check. Uh, once you have your model output, you can check, you know, um, you know the the solution of your model compared to the climatological one. And um, furthermore, this climatology file that we're about to produce is going to be useful. Uh, if, for example, you want to generate an initial climatological initial condition or climatological open boundary. So there's a whole bunch of usefulness for that. So again, I'm in this directory here uh, called ROMs NC files. And um, in previous uh, things, we've looked at the main NC file underscore fork for the forcing. And now we're going to look at the temperature salinity climatology, which is contained in, in this file over here. This is our main script here. And... Um, here, let's just put a comment here. Uh, this is a script to generate the climatology, um, to generate uh, ROMs climatology. Okay. The first thing that I do is, um, if I have not defined uh, the name of the grid that I'm working with, I'm just going to then execute these four lines of code, which is, uh, you know, select the type of the grid that I want to work with, in this case then Pacific, load the grid, select an output directory, and select a name for the climatological file. So I'm going to execute this right away into MATLAB. So I'm going to go in ROMs and C files. I'm going to fire up MATLAB. And I'm going to paste uh, this stuff. So now I have my grid and everything. The next thing is um, to create an empty climatology file. And this is very easily done with this function, rnc create clima file. And in fact, I can execute this uh, right away in MATLAB. And so now I've created uh, an empty uh, an empty grid, which an empty climatology file, which is right here, nc clima. After we do that, uh, I'm going to set uh, to zero all the or to constant all the values in the climatology file so I get rid of any undefined values okay so I'm just gonna paste it here and uh, then I'm going to proceed uh, with the actual climatological extraction of some data and here there are two choices available uh, in the script to you one is to extract the world ocean atlas and the other one is to extract the simple ocean data simulation product the soda and you've seen in previous tutorials on the 3D mapping, interpolation, extrapolation, how to actually load these two climatologies, and so and also how to interpolate them. And so using those concepts, uh, really what the, these two blocks of code, if you select, for example, the World Ocean Atlas climatology, which means you do with this part of code, uh, all you do is you extract the World Ocean climatology in the support from a in a sub portion that is. Uh, confined within the grid of the that you're working with the ROMs grid and you use this rnc underscore woa underscore clima and then you give us import argument grd which is the the grid array and this option array uh, which in this case contains only one option which is option dot fill val equals one and that will tell the uh, extraction function rnc underscore woa clima to actually extrapolate uh, land values using oceanic points so that if the mask of your grid doesn't exactly coincide with the mask land mask of the climatology uh, you won't run into trouble after this extraction of the word ocean atlas say climatology is done in this structure array woa uh, you can save this one uh, and this is useful because uh, uh, later you may want to use it for example uh, to interpolate on different grids uh, that are within contained within the same domain so um, so you can save that and the last step here is then uh, you know to use this RNC update WA clima which basically just interpolates uh, the climatology contained in WA into the into the uh, model grid and stores it into the climatological file and so really all you need then is two functions one to load a climatology and a second function to interpolate it to the to the grid and to the and save it into the climatology file. Now again, once I, I said here that you could save this array, WOA, and 
that uh, again it can be useful for a variety of things one of them is if you decide to change uh, you know the number of vertical layers and also the stretching parameters uh, then you can just uh, reload the climatology here uh, which is on the Z grid uh, and then resave it without needing to re-extract the whole climatology uh, and keep in mind that sometimes the extraction of the climatologists are in CWA climas as you've seen also in the previous tutorial could take some time especially if you have to if the if the grid is very big and so forth now the same type of block of code is also uh, available if you want to use the soda climatology. In this case, uh, you find that there is some additional options here. Instead of, as, again, aside from opt field value equal one, which is the extrapolation of, of oceanic points onto land, you also have the options of selecting different type of variables because soda does not only have temperature and salinity, but also U, V, and sea surface height. And you may want to use the U and V from soda as um, as the climatological U and V rather than um, later computing the geostrophic flow based on temperature and salinity. So, having said that, then I, I could just execute this block of code, or uh, the idea is that if I set this do wo clima equals to 1 and this soda equal to 0, and I have all these other parameters, all really all I need to do then in my MATLAB window, I can just execute uh, this uh, as a script. So main nc file ts clima, and this will just um, do all the above that we just talked about and uh, so now you see it's doing the wo clima and it's already updating uh, you know the the climatology and um, so I'm just gonna wait until this is finished and uh, okay so at this point if I do an ls minus rtla I have my climatology file which contains T and S and I can actually create a CTL control array for this or in T uh, time CTL of, uh, of this file over here <coughs> sorry I have a bad cold and uh, I can use the ocean time okay and now I can load for example the temperature or in T load var CTLC, let's say the January temperature, uh, sorry, the July temperature, and uh, so temp. And for example, I can plot a vertical section. This is the North Pacific grid, or in T's. Let's plot actually uh, a vertical section in the meridional direction along Y of the temperature field. And I'm going to select, uh, for example, index 60 along uh, the uh, longitudinal direction, and then GRD. And what we see here is uh, a section from uh, south, 20 south, sorry, 20 north, all the way to 60 north. And you find the equator, this uh, warm uh, pool of water sitting at the equator up to a depth of 500 meters. And then as you progress towards the uh, northern latitudes, it gets colder. So this is consistent uh, with the climatological values. We can also check the same thing, for example, for salinity, which is the other thing we extracted. And, um, and we can do a section for salinity along the same lines, salt. And what you see now here is that you have saltier waters in the proximity of the equator, and that's uh, related with um, evaporation being stronger than precipitation. And as you move in the uh, northern latitudes, you have more precipitation, and so the salinity is fresher. So this is all consistent. Uh, you know, with the large-scale climatology, and you can see that now we have a, you know, a three-dimensional, uh, you know, field of the climatology. So this concludes this section on the climatology. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to produce, uh, uh, you know, we're going to use the temperature and salinity to compute the geostrophic flow and compute the U and V uh, climatologies as well. So really, all you you want then is, um, you know, this uh, script here which is main underscore nc files underscore clima underscore ts and you just put your parameters of the grid and so forth and then you select you know whatever climatology you want if you want to do the soda or the levitus or sorry the world ocean atlas and then you just execute the script in the MATLAB uh, as we did just uh, previously by typing this okay so this is all for the climatology stuff <coughs>